So the way I wanted to do this, um, so there's no official example that's been posted, but you know, you know, as an engineer from Datakin, we do use open windows extensively. Uh, so we, this is just a really simple project that uh, we have um, in our repo. Um, but I think there, there are plans to make this uh, available for others as well, because there's nothing really secret about what's in this, uh, in this DBT project. So the, the idea is that you have some models and if you go here, and if you see, it's kind of follows the similar, uh, you know, the, there's a food delivery example here. We're just kind of doing orders by day, month, and week. And this is really, really silly. I mean, the, the whole idea is just that way you can show what the lineage graph looks like, but the queries themselves are gonna be a lot more complicated than this. So really you just have a select one on an ID and, and then my, this query is super complex and you just do a select on that, that orders data. And this follows, the, this follows the same exact model. So now he's like, okay, now I have, I've done it for the day. I wanna do it for the month. I wanna do it for the week. Uh, so it just follows that and these depend on each other. So that, that's the key thing. So you have this reference that says I depend on the orders by day. So the idea is you do these like rollups or you do these rolling, you do these aggregates. So after I aggregate it for the, the, month, uh, the day, I wanna aggregate it for the week and then I wanna aggregate it for the, um, the month. So when we actually push this as an example, it will be more, it would actually do that um, I just wanted to do something really quickly to show what the lineage graph would look like. Right. Uh, so uh, this is not for, this is not a example on DBT or how to use it. Oops, actually, sorry about that. Uh, or how to use it. Um, this is really just for, to show you how the integration works. So if you wanna learn more about DBT, um, there's great docs and there's great uh, talks about it. Um, this is just to say, if you're using DBT and you just happen to also use a, a BigQuery, um, this is a pretty good setup for you. Uh, so assuming that you've installed DBT and the packages that you need, uh, what I'm gonna be focusing on is this part here. So uh, since we've are, since we published a release, um, open lineage uh, with DBT, so you'll do a I just want to make sure, I think I've already installed it, but yeah, I'm going to do the zero dot, the first release, the zero dot one dot zero. I'm going to install it. That's great. And the one thing that you do have to do is you do have to set the uh, the endpoint or the URL for the backend. So in this case, it's going to be the Marquez URL. So I, I should have done this before, uh, but I'm going to bring up Marquez using the uh, Docker app script that we have. So that should take a few seconds here, and but I already know the endpoint. Uh, the endpoint, and I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. Okay, so I already know the endpoint, so I'm just gonna do an export, and I'm gonna copy this environment variable, and I'm gonna put, uh, it's gonna be local host, and listening on port 5000. So that's great. Let me just echo this. Just to make sure it's uh, it's set. Cool. So all the open windows events um, with the integration, and since it's using an HTTP backend, it's going to send it to this URL. Cool. Uh, so while Marquez is coming up, which it it is, that's great. So I could go ahead and hit localhost three thousand, and we have our we have our UI here. All right. So good. So we have Marquez. We have the UI, we have the backend, and we have the library installed. Uh, so in order to actually run the example, now what we're gonna do first is generate the catalog.json. So this is important. Uh, the reason why you have to run this, or you don't, you don't have to, but you do enrich the metadata that's sent in your open range events. So if you generate this, it actually generates a catalog which has your schema and also the types and any descriptions that you specify. Uh, so here you can see, if I do, I'll just open this up quickly. Okay, not helpful at all, actually. Let's try that again. Uh, so I could cap this and type it to um, just JQ. So it's JSON, there's a bunch of different metadata there and um, stuff that we're, we're working on maybe extracting further, but right now we're just uh, capturing the descriptions and column types. 
So there's a lot of potential, I think, to uh, inspect that file and add it to the open image events per step. Now, the, the way that integration works is that it, when you do a pip install of open image dbt, um, what's going to happen is it installs this wrapper script. So before you could just type dbt run, um, it adds it to your, uh, it, whether it's like bash rc or something, to your bin directory. So that way you, it does autocomplete. So if you do dbt, and here I have two options. So if I do open lineage and I do run, it's going to execute. So let's do that. So that's the only thing that you'd have to change. So if you want to use the open lineage um, uh, run command, it just wraps the actual uh, dbt command itself. So we do some things to uh, inject meta, uh, the open lineage uh, integration, and then we still allow dbt to run uh, the command itself. So here you can see we've, we're working on making this a bit better in terms of debugging and stuff and telling you that, hey, I'm running, I'm running dbt, but I'm using open lineage right now. It's kind of not clear, but we're, we're working on the messaging and we're going to improve that. But here you can see we've emitted six open lineage events. So if I go to the Marquez logs, you'll see that, uh, yeah, we have six here and they all look pretty good. Cool. But obviously the, the interesting part happens when you actually go to the UI. So we're working on this, but you have to refresh in order for the uh, graph to come up. Um, and if I click on any of these, you'll see that the lineage graph pops up. So if you remember when I did, you know, sort of the, the example that I had was that I had the orders by day, by week, by month, right? So here, the job itself, we, we capture the SQL. So we, we see the, um, we end up seeing what SQL was, was run by this job. Um, we end up seeing the data set that it wrote. In this case, it's just an ID. There's no description, uh, but we do have the type. So maybe I should have, uh, if you were going, if you did not run that dbt uh, doc command, you wouldn't be able to see the type. So in this case, it's an N64. Yeah. And same thing for the job. As you can see though, the, it replaced it. So we, we actually captured the SQL as it's, um, so with dbt, there's templating. So here you could actually see uh, the example of table that we're querying. And as, as you go further up, you'll see that uh, it kind of follows that same model. 